Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here. So it's Friday night in my pajamas, Saturday edition. But there's my pajamas. Kitty cat's wearing socks. And home candy canes. And I have a special guest, Brett. My son, Brett. So, Brett, what were you saying about? I was saying that candle was high maintenance. <laughs> about X Men. Oh, because Channing Tatum's being casted as Gambit and X-Men, which is, I just don't understand why. I don't know nothing about that. So. I guess because girls like Channing Tatum? I don't know. It's the only reason I could think of. Anybody want to weigh in? So what else is going on? Brett just got off work, and he said they got lots of Valentine's Day candy at the Target. Too much. Too much candy. And uh, it was my first week back at work. That was that was tiring, believe me. And what else is going on? What else? It's nice weather out today. It was, it was foggy and it's rainy, but yeah. it's like it's supposed to be in the 40s, I think, today. It's already like 36. So. At and least it's not snowing. That's right. I'm trying to get this candle. Uh, so. Brett finished his... Yeah, this is the Honey Lavender of the Spring, the new one. And I trimmed, I've trimmed the wick like six or seven times on it because it keeps ballooning and mushrooming. And I, mean, it's, I mean, it smells good, but it's like super high maintenance. But that could be because it's the... What are these called? The little jar? They're not little oh, jars, but the they're tumblers? like... tumblers? The tumblers are bigger, but it's like the little... It's not a jar, but it's like the... I don't know Yeah, it's but called. it's a smooth wax, too. No, maybe. maybe that's why. I don't know. Do the apothecary jars come? Yeah, it would come in the paraffin, right? Maybe that's why. I mean, I like it. Smells great, but it's like super high maintenance, it? and it just leaves crud on everything. So a lot of the scents Brett likes, I don't. So he burns his candles up in his room. Yeah, but you like this one too, didn't you? Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah, somewhat. It's not. It's not like super. Like it's honey lavender gelato. So you think it'd be like real flowery and lavendery, but it's not. It's like. Almost like a taffy, like, mm. there's definitely a lot can, of fruity. Yeah, you can smell the honey. A lot of fruity For honey sure. smell, but it's not like, it's like I said when we got it, I was like, before someone said you want to try honey lavender gelato, I'd probably like, no, but now, sure, why not? I'd probably eat it. Well, what I'd probably was, try it. Could you smell it burning? Well, yeah. Could you smell it? It was really good, but it's just, you gotta like constantly trim it and constantly do this and that and everything else. Whereas most of my other ones, I don't even have to worry mm -hmm. about it. He said he trimmed it like six times. And it just keeps doing it. And it kept making a mushroom. I mean, it could be because it's a newer, maybe they switched formulas and it's a newer type of whatever they're doing. Yeah, it just like left crud on everything. Mm -hmm. hmm. So that's his review of Yankee Candle. It's pretty good. I like it. Honey lavender gelato. Probably get a large jar. Yeah. Next time we get like a buy one get one or something. That was with the coupon. We had a coupon. You get, a, you get one free. What was it? You spend like 30, 40, 40, like 40 and you get one free. Yeah. yeah. That was during the SAS we got that. And I was melting all my little melter things. And for a while it was it was doing great and it was melting fine. But this last one I did, I don't know if it's because it's an order wax, but it didn't melt. It just like softened. It didn't melt all the way. So it didn't like liquid, get liquid, so it didn't like, wasn't as strong smelling as they usually are. And it was just like, like real soft. So I don't know if it was just old wax or what, what it was. It says, uh, my Bath and Body Works at work is closing today, it was the last day because we're doing um, remodeling. So I stopped in yesterday at work. I'll do a separate haul later, but... Um, these are the candles I picked up. Yeah, that's not terribly bad. Sweet cinnamon spice. That's the first time Three. I smelled it. This one, I uh, didn't have a lid, and there was a lid laying there by itself, so I took the lid. Because I wanted a lid. <laughs> I don't know if it was the right one or not. But I helped myself to it. I'm trying to figure out what that... Let me see it. It's almost like a spice cake, or like a... Like a... Warm cinnamon, Christmas clove, vanilla cream, brown sugar. Mm, maybe that's what it's known. I think the clove, maybe. Clove and cinnamon. 
And this one These is... were only 50% off, though, but I ended up getting them for 8 something because I had that coupon, the 10 off 40. Spiced gingerbread. Spiced gingerbread, vanilla icing, sparkling cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. Yeah, see, I don't like that one. I don't like that one as much. What? The spiced gingerbread. Well, friend of mine. It's not. I just don't like it as much. It smells um like there's pine in it. Hmm. I like that one though. I like hmm. the cinnamon. I don't know. Cinnamon. I wanted to try them. I didn't, didn't oh, you know what it is? Up. I think the lid we picked up was a pine. Oh. Because the lid's real piney. Oh yeah, it is. It is. So, so, I think it kind of gave your candle a pine yeah. scent. Well, that's okay. But there was no lid. It was just sitting there like that. And uh, there was, well, there was, I mean, the place is closed, you know, will be closed tomorrow. So there was stuff everywhere. The shelves were bare and, you know, there was just things everywhere. So I'm like, oh, there's a lid. Let me put it on there. Come on now. That's what I got. That's. This is a lid on that one. I don't know if it's the lid that belongs on it or not. Well, I mean, it smells like cinnamon. It doesn't smell different, so. Yeah. But I like I like that one. And I like the cinnamon one. I don't really like the gingerbread one. Well, the good news about Bath & Body Works, they burn really quick, so. I think they'll be gone before you know it. Yeah, mm. I, still gotta, I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that tall jar, that windblown, because it's the jar's busted, the glass is busted on it. So I gotta figure out. Should what I just like it? scoop it out? A whole candle? No, it's like so like it's a tall jar, so it's like two of these, so it's like that big. But like it's burnt down to like there. But the glass is cracked. A piece is gone from like so there's like so there's like that much sticking up. Oh. Where it's busted. It's just on the one side that's busted, so I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I could just like take it out or just keep burning it. I don't know. I don't know, maybe you can uh That was the one where I had the lid on and I went to take the lid off, and the lid wouldn't come off. And I pulled the lid off, and it just cracked everything. Any suggestions what he can do with the candle? I'm thinking he can melt it. You can melt it down. You wouldn't be able to scoop it out hard. How would you scoop it out? You just break the rest of the glass, and then just have the candle. Mm. And just put it on like a plate or something, and melt it, burn it. You could you can melt it down. I have those melt cups, and then I have I have a snowman mold. If you wanted to make your own tarts. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Yeah. Well, what I could do, because it's got two two wicks, it's one of the two wick ones, is just burn the one on the non crack side till it melts yeah. till it melts a little bit, you know? And then, yeah. I don't know about all that. I don't know. Where are we at? Eight minutes. What else should we talk about? Yeah. Let's do my money thing. Money challenge. I'll have Brett pick out. Don't look at them though, just pick one out. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. So we're, I'll show you. I'm keeping track of them in my journal. Where's it at? Ah, right there. So that will be week four, ten dollars to our money challenge. So I'll put that in the book. We're getting there slowly. Get it here. What I do. <laughs> so what else? What else is going on? Plans for today. Schoolwork. Yeah. Clean up the house. Um. Get some groceries. Yep. Wait for my hair to get a little longer before I donate again. I mean, I could probably donate it again now because it is a lot of hair. And I told them they didn't believe me last time when I got it, when I donated it, that it was a lot. Like, I told her, I was like, once you shampoo it and you comb it out and all that, it's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of hair. She didn't listen to me. And then they did all the ponytails and all that stuff, and she's like, that's a lot of hair. So I told you it's a lot of hair. Brett donated his hair about two years ago, and... It was like 12 ponytails. Yeah, they separated the first, out. The first couple were only like 8 inches, but when you started getting to the back, it was like 22 plus inches. So it was like six, uh, 6 or 7 of them that were like 22 inches. 
And like they were like thick. And she's that's a lot of hair. I was like, I told you a lot of hair. Yeah, he did um the the local radio show, Woods for Kids, they do that every year. Or Kathy's uh, Yeah, Kathy's, Kathy's cut. Cuts. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. 93.3, yes, yeah. Kathy's Cuts. And so she does that, and then you have to meet um, certain criteria and sign up and, and go, and then you get a free haircut out of it. Your hair can't also be more than... You can't have more than a certain percentage gray. Yeah. You can't have dyed hair. You can't have all this extra stuff. You can't... So, like, virgin hair. And it's not so much that you need that. It's just you can't... Like, there's so much... They don't want you to do this. You don't want you to do that. And I didn't know until after they cut it, but I guess they can take your oh, facial yeah. hair and make different, I don't know, different stuff, I guess. I don't know. Filler? Filler for, I don't know. But yeah, it was like, because she cut all my hair, so it was like real short. And my beard was like way bigger at the time. It was like huge, because she cut it short, and then I noticed how big it was. I was like, you got to do, I was like, it's too much. Without the hair, without the hair to keep it, it's like... <laughs> Taking over, I was like, you gotta do something. Now, I didn't even know they could donate it until after I was leaving. The guy downstairs was like, oh, you should have donated it. I was like, I didn't well, know. Why didn't she take She it? didn't tell me that they did that. I guess maybe she was in, I don't oh. know. But they never told me that they could, but it was huge. And I was like, you gotta do something about it. Yeah. And I've trimmed it a couple times already, so it's not as big as it was, so. Hmm. It was just huge. Yeah. So, what else? That's it? Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Me neither. But, um... I was just melting, melting my multi things. and You know, same ones I usually do. I like uh, the bubbly pomegranate's pretty good. Uh, they had one... The Winter's Glow, I think is what it's called. Mm. It was okay. It's really strong. That one's really, was really that, strong. melt? Yeah, it was a melter. It was the white one I got, though. It was like winter oh, glow. Oh, oh, oh. So I mixed it. What I ended up doing is I burned it. I melted it for like two days, and it was still really strong. So I put a, I want to say, a crisp, crisp morning air in with it, and that helped. I like crisp morning air, so that helped. I think, and then I did my bubbly pomegranate ones and my mandarin orange ones. Those are good. I think all I have left is a, what is it? Crisp fall night. I think I have one of those. I have one more crisp morning air. And then I have my last bubbly pomegranate is melting right now. You have um, some... Um, I have um, the little little jars. Yeah. But I have a bunch of the melts from the other, like the... Mimi's, like all the ladies. Yeah, yeah like Mimi's Tarts and all that stuff. I have box, a box of and that. I have some rose pearls. I think up there. I have a little bit of everything. Yeah. You need to get through. So... I guess that's it. I guess we'll wrap up. I know. Friday night in pajamas, Saturday edition. So I hope everyone's having a great weekend. And don't forget to put away your $10 towards the money challenge. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.